Are you guys, uh, what do you guys think of South African wines? Hmm? What do you think? South Africa. What does that, what does South Africa say to you? Huh? Does it say, whoa, South Africa? Or does it say like, mm, South Africa? Like, do you get, like when your wine merchant says, oh, I got this great South African wine for you. Are you like, oh, cool. Or are you like, cool? Well, I'm here to tell you, you should be saying, oh, cool. Because South African wine is getting good. It's getting real good. And one of the reasons South African wine is getting real good is because they're kind of looking back. You know, what happened is, you know, after apartheid and, you know, the, the end of apartheid and, and all these doors opening and the embargoes ending, et cetera, what we saw was South Africa become immediately reactionary. Oh, we can send all this wine everywhere now. What does the rest of the world drink? Oh, they drink Syrah, they drink Cabernet, they drink Berlot, and they drink this and that. And Okay, we're going to ship all that right to them right now. But they kind of forgot who they were. And two of the main grape varieties that South Africa was established on was Chenin Blanc, which they lovingly call Steen, and Pinotage. Now, what's Pinotage? Pinotage is a cross a grape cross, a hybrid, that was created in 1925 in South Africa. Uh, basically a cross between Pinot Noir and Sanso. Now these two grapes usually, I don't know if they would necessarily work well together per se, but what happened is they found out that in fact they do. And in fact it became kind of a really easy grape to work with in the vineyard. So for years, you know, from starting probably in the 40s up until the uh, you know, 70s, even the 80s, Pinotage was a major workhorse grape variety in South Africa. And then uh, in the 90s and into the 2000s, you know, a lot of South Africa almost kind of became ashamed of Pinotage. They're almost like, oh, you don't want that. That's Pinotage. Don't you want Syrah and Cabernet? And I don't know, I had a few really great Pinotage wines. There was, okay, granted, there's a, there's a tendency for some Pinotage wines, if, if not vinified properly, to take on some, some acetone type characters. And I did see that in a few of the wines but the great Pinotage wines I saw were delicious. So it, I'm tickled pink that we have Painted Wolf Pinotage here. Uh, this is a 2010 Pinotage with a little Grenache and a little Merlot tossed in. And this is like pretty hands-off type stuff. One of the keys here is the vines, the vines for this wine. The grapes come from the Swartland area, which Swartland is kind of becoming this newly discovered old area. Again, it was kind of a forgotten area when this big rush to Stellenbosch and this big rush to the coastal areas. And in fact, you know, Swartland was just staring right at a lot of the vintners. So we're talking, you know, you know older style, older vines, bush vines. Um, it's kind of the area where Grenache and Chenin and Pinotage are all finding their way back into the, the, the South African wine fold, into the wine stable. And as they do that, we're seeing this increased quality in South African wines as they, as they continue to progress and kind of find out that everything old is new again. Um, character of the wine. Juicy. Juicy. Spicy. It's bigger than Pinot Noir. So even though it's a Pinot Noir cross, this wine has a little more huevos. Uh, there's a fabulous spice character to the wine. Uh, there's a little touch of tannin, but in fact the wine is quite polished. So think of it as kind of maybe Pinot Noir on steroids with this little rony edge to it and this wonderful kind of spicy note. And that's what you get from the Painted Wolf. To me it's one of the Cooler wines I've had this year. It comes with a groovy Stelvin closure. Um, was 90 points from Wine Advocate. So if you're looking for further validation, boom. It's even got a score and everything. But beyond that, I think it's just a heck of a wine for under 15 bucks and really is one of the spokes wines for the new South Africa.